Uh, my name is Mark Holt. I've been going to a real life church for about four and a half years. And I just kind of want to tell you a little about my story and how I found Jesus Christ and this amazing church and all the, the transformations it's done in my life since then. Um, my life was, I got onto drugs at a young age, about 12, and it pretty much ruled my life up into my adulthood. Uh, that and addict, uh, anger and resentment, it was, it was just not a, a, a pleasant life up until like at the time I got clean. Uh, and it was a drug overdose that sent me into recovery. And I finally made it into recovery. When I got out of treatment, I, I started getting on my seizure meds. That, that was the other thing. I, I, that epilepsy is the other thing that, that messed up my life and caused me a lot of trouble and a brain aneurysm and a brain surgery. And um, I made it through all that. I lived through the surgery, but the, the seizures kept going. So unfortunately the addiction kept coming too. And uh, finally, uh, after a drug overdose, I finally found recovery. And uh, when I got out of recovery, I wanted to get my, my seizure meds right. So I got good with a, with a doctor and I thought that would be the right thing to do. But then they just uh, put me on so many pills. I was like a zombie state for 10 years. It kept me clean but it was not living. It was not living at all. I got a new doctor after 15 years of being clean and I've got this VNS implant that's in my chest now. And that made it to where I only had to take a fraction of the medication and it, my head cleared. For the first time in over a decade, my head cleared. And the first thing I realized when my head was clear is that I was miserable. I had been 15 years clean and I was miserable. And Right about that time, I, I was at the point where I was just ready to give up. I didn't want to go back to be an addict again. And I didn't want to live the life I was living. So I started getting this whisper in my ear, in my head. I, I don't know what it was, man. I, I know what it was, but I, back then I didn't. And it was just, every time I think about my situation, I'd hear, get on your knees and pray, Mark. What have you got to lose? And it got louder and it got louder and I fought it for three days and I got more and more miserable. And every time I thought about it, it by the third day it was yelling in my head, get down on your knees and pray, Mark. What do you have to lose? So I got down on my knees on the third day and uh, I stayed on my knees for probably two hours crying, just pouring it out, just giving it all to God. And, um, I, I surrendered my life to Jesus Christ that day, right there in, the, right there in my living room. And um, right when I got up, it was like I was craving God. It was like the burdens were gone and I was just craving God. I picked my Bible up for the first time in over a decade. I read from Genesis to Revelations in six months. After I finished that, the second I finished Revelations, it was in my head, you need to find a church. You need to find a church. and. Luckily, I had these two amazing friends that said, we go to real life, we're picking you up Sunday. And here I am, and uh, everything's changed. Uh, I mean, I started serving immediately when I come here because the friends I was riding with were making coffee and they're like, if you're riding with us, you're helping us make coffee in the morning. So, you know, I had been a self-centered person my whole life and it really felt good to be helping people because it's really the first time I'd ever been sincerely trying to help somebody. And I just, I just wanted more and more. And so I, I was looking for any way to serve. Uh, I started uh, making these crosses at church and handing them out. Just, I didn't know if anybody would like them or not. And I've handed out over 300 of them now. Uh, I, I started working at the, the food pantry with Nick. And uh, that was when I really started getting a real passion for serving. and. We just met so many amazing people and helped so many people during that COVID time. And uh, that's when I became an usher too every morning. And that's when I started meeting everybody. And man, that has just been so amazing for me to be an usher because I get to see all the faces in the morning. I get to meet them all at the door. I get to uh, meet everybody in the whole congregation. I know most of them by name now. And uh, and the most recent thing I've done is I, that I'm really proud of is I finished the Stephen ministry training and that has like really changed my life. Um, 
my life was pretty much on the streets and I didn't have many communication skills and I learned a lot of good good stuff during the community the Stephen ministry training and uh, it's it's changed every conversation I have with every person now I enter it being empathetic and assertive instead of angry and aggressive you know um, I guess all I can say is this church and Jesus Christ is is changed every part of my life I'm stronger physically mentally emotionally spiritually financially there's nothing every it's changed every part of my life and I guess if you haven't accepted Christ in your life the only thing I can say is get down on your knees and pray what have you got to lose thanks